Artistic inspiration is easy to find in the Bahamas. One of the country's most respected homegrown talents is writer and historian Patricia Glinton Mikolas. Her books retell Bahamian folk stories. The Luska Sea Monster, for example, is a symbol of vengeful justice. It is a protective being. The whole thing is it punishes people who do wrong, offend the environment. Luska and other folk heroes also have something else in common, says Glinton Mikolas. Some of the most powerful creatures and uh, shape changers are women. You have this whole feminist vibe from way back. We are really focused on keeping the folklore of the Bahamas alive. Folklore alive in song and dance and performed by the Bahamas National Youth Choir. We meet choir director Dexter Fernander and choir secretary Jessica Knowles at the National Art Gallery of the Bahamas, which showcases the work of Bahamian artists. Many times we walk into this art gallery to, to get some inspiration and so we are thankful for the space. The gallery's outdoor amphitheater is a popular performance spot for the choir. Its members range in age from 13 to 25. All of them rehearse outside of school or work. We train really hard and it takes a lot because singing and dancing, same time, lots of energy. <laughs> The Bahamas National Youth Choir performs all over the world, including at New York's Carnegie Hall. The choir's repertoire covers classical and Broadway music, but Bahamian music is their true love, says Fernando. The song of parting actually was written by our director as he was leaving high school, and it's in the transition of the country from the 1972 going to independence of 73. We take such joy in preserving our culture, that preservation of Bahamian music and our culture, our food, just being able to uh, really study our culture, embrace it, and then take that embracing and share it with other countries all around the world. That's one of the greatest joys for us as a choir. And the late great Oscar winning actor Sidney Poitier from the Bahamas. Yeah, there's actually a bridge named after him in Nassau. And fun fact, when leaving the Bahamas, you actually clear U.S. Customs at the airport in Nassau. That's it makes nice. it very easy. <laughs> That's Chronicle for tonight. I'm Shana Seymour. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night.